In the last video, I showed you how to use Dominomarama's avatar.blend file to bring your avatar into Blender. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Wiz Daxter's plugin to do the same thing. So this is my preferred method of working with avatar using Wiz Daxter's plugin. I can get the avatar into my application with less steps and way more efficiently. You can get a free demo of the program from his site right here wiz-bg.blogspot.com and he has some different varieties of the plugin you can download the demo right here the demo of the plugin does let you bring in the default female avatar with the skeleton and the weights for no charge so basically you are paying to bring in your own custom avatar mesh with the skeleton and weights already set up when you buy the license. The plugin costs 1300 Linden and you can go to the marketplace, Second Life Marketplace to find it if you want. Alright, he sells a version for 2.49 and 2.58 which is the latest version of Blender as of the taping of this video. So first I will demo bringing in the default avatar with the plugin. After you install the plugin, go to File, Import, Second Life Avatar Shape, select Avatar, Default Female Mesh, then I'm going to hit 3, Numpad 3 to go inside view numpad period to zoom in and focus that. So I'm going to get rid of this cube here. And as you see it's the same setup as we had in our other file. Everything's weighted and parented and good to go. But to really see the benefit of this product you need to use the licensed version with your avatar's XML file which I'll show you how to download in the next part of the video. Now I will show you how to download the XML file that the plugin needs to bring in your custom avatar. If you're using Phoenix, go to Phoenix Show Advanced. Advanced Character Character Tests Appearance to XML Go to your viewer's installation folder and then go to character. You want to look for a file that reads new archetype. Copy new archetype and then paste it someplace else. It's a good idea to rename it. and you're done with that part. Unlike the previous video, you don't need to download each object one by one. You just need this one file. It has all the information you need. At this point, you can go into Blender and import your file. Now let's import our custom avatar file. Go to File, Import, Second Life Avatar Shape, select Avatar, and this time you want to load XML Shape. Browse your file, and then Import. And that's all there is. Now I want to show you how to do this in Blender 2.58. Go to File, Import, Second Life Avatar, XML. Make sure to come down here and pick File, and then browse to your XML and Import. 
and that's it. We can select the armature and go to control tab to go into pose mode. Rotate some bones. And as you can see, we have our custom avatar all set up with the skeleton and weights in a few clicks. And that's it for this video. Join me in the next video when I will give you an introduction to vertex groups and weight painting.